Your oranges may be dyed with artificial food colors. Since 1956, the FDA has permitted the use of citrus red number no. 2 as a food dye to color the peel of conventional oranges. When oranges are grown in warmer tropical climates, their peels stay green from their chlorophyll content. In more temperate subtropical climates, the cooler nighttime temperatures cause the chlorophyll to degrade and carotenoids to increase in the peel. While citrus red number no. 2 is banned for use in California and Arizona, it can be applied on conventional oranges from states such as Florida. Fruit packing companies can treat oranges with ethylene gas and use an emulsion with citrus red number no. 2 to change the color of the orange peel. According to the FDA, oranges treated with citrus red number no. 2 don't have to bear a warning label as long as the labeling of the bulk container is plainly in view or a counter card, sign, or other appropriate device bears prominently and conspicuously the fact that the oranges are artificially colored. Citrus red number no. 2 is only allowed in concentrations up to 2 parts per million for oranges that will be sold for consumption and is not allowed for processed orange products like juice or smoothies. According to available research, citrus red number no. 2 would not penetrate through the orange peel. The only possible way it could reach the flesh of the fruit would be through a knife spreading it or by pressing it at home. The International Agency for Research on Cancer classifies citrus red number no. 2 as a group 2B carcinogen, meaning it is possibly carcinogenic to humans and more research in humans is needed. From what I could find, the emulsion with citrus red number no. 2 is hydrophobic, so you would need to use a baking soda mixture with a brush or cloth to remove it. While citrus red number no. 2 is only used on on some conventional oranges, the use of ethylene gas is used on both conventional and organic oranges from all locations to speed up ripening and change the color of the peel. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below and whether or not you'd be fine eating oranges treated this way.